What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy, and I'm coming at you. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy, coming at you with another installment of the G Gundam Reviews! Episode 37, Saizaiji vs. Gundam! This is gonna be fun. I I'm just gonna hop on into it because, honestly, I'm just gonna tell you the same thing over and over and over again. I like this episode, I like this episode, I like this episode. Because I do like this show. That's just the long and short of it. There's some episodes I don't like. This ain't one of them. This is actually a really, really, really good episode. Like one of the god tier episodes of Saisaishi vs. Domon. And we're just going to hop right into it. We open up over at the Shaolin Temple. Where we see, you know, a gong happening. It's early morning. And we see Saisaishi still asleep. Chu and Kayun come by. I still don't know which one's which. And they're like, oh. Saisaishi, you need to get up. You need to start training. Come on, boy. They get in there, see that he's still in bed, you know, all rest up. And they're like, well, if you're not going to get up naturally, then we're just going to force you out of bed and pull up a cover, throw some water on him, and they realize he ain't there. I know I'm hopping right through this, but it, it, there's a reason. There's a reason. We end up seeing that Saisaishi's actually snuck away up into the rafters, Covered himself in a blanket and is, you know, and sleepily walking his way, trying to find a place to go rest. And he says, hey, you know what? Why do I have to train so much? I know me and Dome's brother fight is coming up and stuff. But why do we have to train so hard? All I need, I, I got this. All I need to do is stay calm and relax. It's, it's fine. And as he's walking by, and I'm going to get it, a mouse hops over his foot. I can't get the shot of the mouse. He freaks out, hops up, hits his head on a board, falls through the ceiling into Shuizen and Kayun's stuff, breaking their thing and scattering it all over the place. And a letter lands on his head. He picks up the letter and sees that it's from his dad to Shuizen and Kayun, opens it, and is shocked to see what he reads. Now, we don't get to see, know exactly what is said yet, but the effects of this letter will have... Well, this letter has massive effects. I, I, I picked my words. This letter has massive effects on today's episode and changes Sai Sai Shi drastically. And what, what's, what it's going to do is it leads into a great fight between Domon and Sai Sai Shi. Just a fantastic fight. We end up starting the rest of the episode seeing Sai Sai Shi training diligently. Like, very intensely going through all of his motions. And Shuizen and Kayun are, you know, they're proud of what they're seeing. But one of them, you know, this one, still don't remember which one's which, points out that he doesn't know if he quite likes this transformation. Doesn't know if he's enjoying what he's seeing, how it's going about, because it's such a drastic change from the lighthearted, kid that just wanted to go have fun to this Th this is something entirely different and it's kind of shocking to the system and seeing him just intensely train and the other one she was in okay and whichever one it is starts saying you know what you have a point but maybe there's something else going on here and say so say she's just determined to win we end up cutting away to watch alan b and uh Domon train up a bit and they get interrupted by Rain. Rain, you know, kind of chastises Alan B for always being around, you know, showing the jealousy that's building up between Rain, you know, because Rain has feelings for Domon. Domon's oblivious to it and he just wants to fight and he's training a lot with Rain, well, with, with Alan B. So, you know, chastise, do the, do the whole thing. Alan B, are you sure you should be here? Isn't your nation all concerned? Oh, they don't care anymore. They, they've given up trying to stop this. Domon's like, yeah, we need to just keep training. You know, we're about to have a serious match with Sai Saishi. And Rain's like, well, I'll just go build, work on the hunk of junk then. Man. You know, not realizing that, that that's a slight and not knowing what's happening. And as they're, you know, as Rain's walking away, they end up hearing, hello, bro. And they see Sai Saishi coming by with a bunch of food and a walk. I kind of... Kind of being very different than what we just saw him as. I mean, we just saw him being very serious, very determined, and now he's back to kind of being this lovable kid. And, you know, he has this whole little fun moment where he loses control, 
wrecks almost wrecks everything but grabs ev everything and then gets hit in the head with his walk it is a it is a fun little moment you know just just Sai Sai she has best comes by and he makes them all makes Domon and the crew all some nice dinner you know the kids are amazed that Gundam fighters can actually do this as well and Sai Sai she just he just wants to have a good meal with them before their fight that, that's all Domon and them are all relaxing enjoying seeing what's going on but there's something going on in Sai Sai she's head that he he's just not he's not letting out Sit down to eat this wonderful meal. Everybody's enjoying it. And as time goes on, Allenby challenge, challenges a Sai Saishi to a fight. And he, she, she starts poking Sai Saishi's buttons too, calling him a kid, saying that he's little. He, he can't be that strong. And Sai Saishi takes the bait. And they just go out. They just go at it. Sai Saishi and her just start fighting jumping all over the place, interacting, and Sai Sai, she takes note that, A, she's really strong. Well, everybody else is eating, but everybody's noting how strong he is, and Sai Sai, she just won't let up, and he says, well, I guess it's time for me to show off my new move, starts doing this special thing, and then stops. Acknowledging that Allenby is really strong, but you know, we can't really fight on an empty stomach. I got all this good food. Let, let's go eat it. You know, you see this family that they that they bothered. And uh Allenby's like, Yeah, let's go eat your good food. And as they're walking away, a report comes on the TV of the Chinese Emperor, Neo China's Emperor, is in Hong Kong now to help cheer on the tomorrow's tournament. This ends up waking something up in Sai Saishi, and he says he has to go. Like it, it is, the, he is required to leave now because of the emperor, and nobody really knows why, but we end up seeing why. Back at the boat, Allenby talks to Domon, and she says, "You know, Sai Saishi's really strong. He goes all out in his fights, and he almost beat me." And Domon's like, "Yeah, he's the only one that ever." That has ever really given me a really tough challenge. We now cut over to the Chinese delegation. Their little government building. And, you know, you see this gong. Everybody's aware of the emperor or awaiting the emperor. You know, a whole ceremony is going on. Emperor comes out. Sai Sai, she, Keiyu, and she, she was in and Keiyu and are there. And they're prepared to speak with the emperor. The emperor comes out, asks, basically is very proud of Sai Sai Shi. He's like, man, your winning record is phenomenal. You're doing excellent work. Please let me give you guys something for all the hard work you are doing. And Sai Sai Shi lays it out. Sai Sai Shi wants the revival of the Shaolin, Shaolin Temple. That is his goal. That is his dream. That is what he wants to have. And he... It's Sai Sai, she's the one that asks it. And he asks it very determined and everything. And the emperor says, if you win the tournament, I will give you your prize. I will give you the revival of the Shaolin Temple. Simple enough. Just got to win the tournament. Cut away to a far off peak where she was in and Kayun start kind of praising Sai Sai. She's saying, man, you've grown up a lot. You know, you, you you brought this up yourself. It wasn't us that had to bring this up. You had to brought, bring it up. And Sai Sai, she gives like this cryptic message of, it's about time, you know, I grow up to be the fighter I need to be. As he gate cuts away, everybody's kind of like noticing there's this change going on in Sai Sai. She, they don't quite know it, but see Sai Sai, she gearing up for the fight with Domo, getting ready. Cut away to Domo and looking at the sword, you know, and remembering the first fight he ever had with Sai Sai Shi. And I brought this up last week. On how Sai Sai Shi is also very powerful. How he's fun and everything. But that first fight. That fight. Where Domon. Basically had to force a draw. Because even though Domon was about to take out Sai Sai Shi's head. Sai Sai Shi was ready to just take off Domon's head. A forced. Draw. Because no matter what happened. Sai Sai Shi was 
one kind of one step ahead but was ready to do whatever it took to win sai saishi isn't somebody to just laugh at he's a powerful opponent and domo knows this and is going to give it his all tomorrow cut away sai saishi's praying at the temple and leaves the letter knowing somebody's going to find it battle is commencing sai saishi goes on ahead the uh, prepares to leave. The other two say, Shui Zen and Kayun say that they're going to stay behind and pray. That way they can, they can do their whole, like, you know, religious thing. Hey, let's pray for good luck. Let's pray for a win. Sai Sai Shi go on ahead. That's what happens. We get over to the tournament grounds. We see the emperor's there. Sai Sai Shi's ready. Domon's ready. Everybody's ready for this fight. I think I jumped ahead. Yeah, I jumped a little too far ahead because there's this wonderful go between everybody oh they're fighting master asia is amazed you got wong amazed just having fun watching this fight and as wong as they're discussing because wong you know wants dumb one to lose as they're fighting though master asia starts coughing again very violently and wong says oh did i say something that triggers your bad health taking note that there's something else going on with Master Asia. We haven't seen that since about, uh, I would say, the Chippity fight when we fir first saw that something's going on with Master Asia's health and the deterioration. He's coughing up a storm again, just taking note that he has a poor health. But get back to the fight, and it's all out. Everybody, they're giving it them their all. Domon breaking away stuff, tacking one after another, just hitting non-stop and we cut back again to the temple and to Shui Zen and Kayun as they are praying up a storm for Sai Sai Shi to make sure that he wins to hope that he wins Domon gets wrapped up in some of Sai Sai Shi's arms and Domon will not let it stand there and breaks through his arms taking out Sai Sai Shi's arms altogether but Sai Sai Shi ain't going to let that keep him down he's going all in as well and continuing to fight Domon even without his arms slamming into him kicking him up a storm Domon getting pushed kind of on his back foot but that's what we were expecting from Sai Sai Shi we were expecting a no holds bar fight because Sai Sai Shi will do whatever it takes if, to win essentially Alan B shocked at just how powerful Sai Sai Shi truly is Sai Sai Shi goes in for you know his little blit his little uh ponytail whip tack thing Domon breaks it off slant unveiling all of Sai Sai Shi's hair then back at the temple one of the she was in she was in or Kayun whichever one it is finds the note and is shocked and we cut back to Sai Sai Shi just going out at all out at it getting beat up thrown all over the place but not giving up she, one of the brothers, she was in her KU and runs to the other one to show that Sai Sai Shi has seen his father's will. And that's when it, we find out what was in the letter. What changed Sai Sai Shi? And it's his father. His father says, plain and simple, that his time on this earth is not too long. He's dying of a sickness. And he fears that their dreams, she was in Kayun and his father's dream will never be found. The dream of reviving the Shaolin Temple. But what he regrets most in life is not being able to be there for his son. Sai Sai Shi. The fact that it, what we end up finding out that kicks Sai Sai Shi in the butt to get him to start doing what he needs to do is his father die trying to bring back this Shaolin temple his father's dream the idea of never being able to knowing that the Shaolin temple was part of his father's dream a man he never got to meet it it lit something in Sai Sai Shi that makes him want to try want to go forward want to fight and want to achieve this dream and he's going to do whatever it takes to achieve this dream even going so far as using a new technique Sai Sai Shi gets up, starts talking about his dad, how he never, he never got to know his dad, never got to see him. He was just a kid. 
but he's going to have, have him help him lead him to this final fight. Lead on. Domon goes in for a burning finger attack to just try to end this fight. And Saisaishi breaks three, unveiling his new attack. His ultimate attack. Bra pushing Domon back even. Th this is an intense attack. Gets up, <clears throat> goes golden, you know, his own hyper mode. And gets into a specialized Shaolin technique that I cannot name because it is something weird. But ultimately says it, he has mastered a technique that is amazing. The ma Emperor takes note this is like one of the strongest techniques there is. But it's also known as a kamikaze technique. This is a technique that could take out Sai Saishi's life as well. Continuing this, Sai Saishi will do whatever it takes to win even give up his own life. And you can see this beautiful attack. Shuizen and Kayun are mesmerized by the fact that he mastered this expert technique. Domon says, then I'm going to use my special technique, going into his own hyper mode, unleashes their attacks all at once. And what is mesmerizing and cool is Sai Saishi's attack actually destroys Burning Finger. Everybody takes note of that. Like, that attack is able to stop Domon's burning finger. The only attack out there that has been able to do that. It is shocking. And as Sai Sai, she's like, I finally win. I won. Domon's like, nope. And uses his left arm, his left hand, to deal burning finger and stop the attack. Sai Sai, she's shocked and says, well, then I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. I'm not going to stop here. And Domon's says, then I will give you exactly what you want. Prepares to do heat end, and the emperor says stop. Everybody stops. Sai Sai, she looks up at the emperor, and the emperor says, I will give you the Shaolin Temple. You have shown me everything I needed to see. You have shown me your dedication to your fight, your dedication to everything, and I guarantee it, I will give you the Shaolin Temple if you win the Battle Royale. Hearing that, like, is the greatest thing in Sai Saishi's head that he can actually get the Shaolin Temple. Breaks down, Domon picks him up, and we see just how their camaraderie together as Sai Saishi kind of breaks down that his dream is actually in grass. His, his dream, his father's dreams, everybody's dream is in grasp. And it, it just makes, makes this happy moment all better. She was in Kayun mesmerized by the growth that Sai Saishi showed. Wong furious that nobody can seem to beat Domon. Not one of these guys. And he's mad at that because he thinks everybody's putting on a show. And that's when Master Asia laughs at him and says, you, you put on this tournament and yet you don't know the first thing about martial arts or martial art fighters. You don't know anything, do you? And just looks at the match. We get an end of Rain saying, I think I'm finally understanding what it means for fighters to communicate between their fists as the episode comes to an end. I know I kind of shot through that episode, but that is an episode I highly suggest people just take the time, go out and watch it yourself. Like that, that is a fantastic episode. This whole series is fantastic. It, it has the heart that it needs. And I think more people really need to go check it out. But until next time, guys, let me get your thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.